A study was done, an independent study in Europe was done in 2020, four years ago, proving that electric cars were much cleaner even four years ago than internal combustion. In fact, far, far more cleaner. Well, today, those numbers are completely different because in the last four years, the world has installed more renewable energy than it did in the previous 30 years combined. Let's have a look at the actual numbers. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. This is not an exhaustive video because it bores people to death. This is simply one study which corroborates findings in numerous other studies we've seen that show electric cars are much greener than what we believe. Now, in this study, they did not analyze the reality of what is happening today, and that is that EV batteries are not thrown into landfill. Every single video you see on YouTube that claims that EV batteries are thrown into landfill should be deleted from, by Google. If Google and YouTube were actually doing what they say they were and removing misinformation from YouTube, they would remove this garbage because it is factually untrue. I mean, put it this way, right? If someone came up to you and said, hey, um, I'd like to give you 5,000 US dollars for nothing. What kind of, even a rich person wouldn't say no. Do you think, do you think Elon Musk would say, no, no, I've got enough money, mate. He'd go, all right, sure, hand it over. I mean, only an idiot would say no to that. The battery pack in an EV is recycled at a rate that people don't understand. Now, even if you just simply crush a battery pack, and you don't even extract the lithium from it, just crush it up into powder. That powder is called black mass. It's worth 10,000 US dollars per ton. A battery pack on average weighs, what does it weigh? 500 kilos. What is that worth? A lot of money, a hell of a lot of money, 5,000 US dollars. But now you can actually extract some batteries, many of them, can, the lithium can be extracted much more easily. The cobalt can be extracted. They're worth even more than that. This study does not take into account the fact that all EV batteries are now being recycled. And even then it says electric cars over their lifetime are 40% greener than internal combustion. That was back in 2020, right? When countries in Europe were using a lot more coal, a lot more gas than they are today. Put it this way, in Germany, more than 50% of energy in 2023 was renewable. In 2024, it said it will hit approximately 70%. An average EV registered in 2020 was 40% more climate friendly than combustion engine cars, said the UBA in a press release. Now, who are the UBA? Well, the UBA is Germany's federal environment agency. Now, today's electric cars, according to the Driven.io, have a significantly lower life cycle climate footprint than combustion engine cars. These are simply the facts. In the future, of course, because of this closed loop cycle where all batteries are being recycled, they're actually much cleaner than we realize. Now, a report by the Institute for Energy and Environmental Research commissioned by Germany's Federal Environment Agency showed us that even four years ago, even four years ago when major organizations, particularly organizations and media here in Australia, have decided to attack EVs and say that they're actually worse. Actually, even back then, EVs were much cleaner than internal combustion, 40% more. With the rapid expansion of renewable electricity generation, this 40% is said to increase to 55% within five years time. Now the environmental and climate impacts of all passenger cars and commercial vehicles were examined and alternative drive systems were based on the entire vehicle life cycle from production, use, and disposal. But it didn't include, of course, the fact that batteries are all being recycled today. It showed that EVs registered in 2020 fared worse regarding other environmental effects like acidification. The Environment Agency said that these disadvantages were largely due to fossil fuel power generation on the grid, which is being phased out. In 2050, electric cars will be ahead of cars with combustion engines in all environmental impacts analyzed. And, well, in many places, it'll be much earlier than that. For example, in 2030, Australia plans on hitting 90% renewables. Germany plans on hitting about 95%. 
Electric vehicles are considered a key component in achieving Germany's climate targets, and the government is aiming for 15 million electric cars on the roads by 2030. Mercedes-Benz, for example, says, well, we're going to hit it before then. Volvo as well. They're going to be EV only in Europe by 2030. In order to make their purchase more attractive, cars with higher CO2 emissions should be subject to a surcharge on new registrations in the future, said the UBA. So the government basically saying it makes sense to do this. Now, industry experts are saying this is not going to happen. They're saying that only 11 million EVs will hit Germany's roads by 2030, with 13 million being optimistic and the 15 million is zero chance. But other experts like Tony Siever say that by 2026, internal combustion will be done. There will be four years of German car sales to hit that 15 million target. I believe it's not, not optimistic at all. In fact, we're just about to hit that S curve in Germany. Norway has just hit 93% EV penetration in January of this year. Give it a couple of years, Germany will be in the same position that Norway is in today. What are your thoughts? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.